Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about user recon. It's a cool little OSINT tool to get some information about usernames on the internet or on across different social media platforms. So we're going to be doing that tonight. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you guys are returning, thank you so much. And I just started a buy me a coffee. So you can see the link in the description below. It's just to support the channel. And also you can join the channel. And uh, I have a couple members at the moment. I think I have about 10 members. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. And, um, you know, I did a couple one-on-ones. So I really appreciate all that as well. It's cool to get the word out there and help others. So remember, please like, subscribe, share. Let's get into this user recon video. All right, guys. So this is user recon. You can get it right from GitHub. I haven't installed it yet, but we're going to be installing this shortly. So this is my little, uh, you can go buy me a coffee. I think instead of saying coffee, I'm not a big coffee drinker, but I love tea. I love green tea. So, you know, it's supporting me buy a tea. So you can go ahead and uh, go to buymeacoffee.com slash infosecpat and you can help a brother out. So, and also like if you go to infosec uh, YouTube, sorry, you go to, for an example, a my channel channel and you can see here join you can join as a member and you can get some some cool little things you know it's just to support the channel i really appreciate every one of you guys and uh yeah so so what we're going to do is install this i already have a a tools directory here if i do an ls i have a few tools in here at the moment, Pi Fisher and Packet and Windows Exploit Gesture. Let's clear that. Let's go ahead and get this. You can just copy the URL. And if you come down, you can actually walk through it as well. You can do an update. I already did an update. So just get clone your URL. So let's do get clone. And then paste that. Let it do its thing. If we do an LS now, we see user recon. We CD into user recon. We do an LS. We can see here that we have a bash shell. So if we just do dot user, it's not going to work. Whoops. So it's going to say permission denied. So what we have to do is change some permissions. The way we do that, we do chmod, right? Plus, whoops. And then we can do the user.sh. Now, if we do an ls, we can see just like how it's ran here. Obviously, we can, you know, we we have to make the modification so it's an executable. So let's just do this now. And now you can see that it's good, right? So input the username. So I want to do infosec pat. I want to do myself. And it's going to go and see what else it can find. So it found YouTube, found Twitter, found Facebook, found Instagram, found some Google. And this is pretty much, you know, go across the, across the board. And with this information, we can, you know, we can stop this now, right? You get the gist. It'll go down. And you see here it says save infosecpad.txt. Let's just clear, stop from a clean sleep. Do an LS. So if we go ahead and cat infosec.txt, we can see all these URLs that we're able to get. Let's check out a few, right? Let's see if there's some that are legit. Obviously we know infosec pat at YouTube because this is my YouTube. But let's go ahead and let's do a G, G edit. Edit, G edit, or G edit. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Like Pat. All right, let's make this a little larger. Oh my God. Thing is not, why can't I zoom this in? Weird. Weird. All right, no worries. So let's just say, for example, 
Instagram. Let's copy this. Go out to the interwebs. Let's minimize this. Let's just go here. And let's see if this is legit. This is this is me. This is my uh, my Instagram page. So that did work. So let's go ahead and do Facebook. I don't think we're going to be able to see this because we may have to be logged in. But let's see anyways. We're going to have to be logged in for that one. Let's go back. See uh, uh, Reddit. Let's see Reddit. Let's copy this. <clears throat> Obviously, this is me. So this is true. Okay. So we can just keep going down. We can. I do have a GitHub. All right, SoundCloud. I know I don't have no SoundCloud because I'm no singer. But let's. I'm curious to see what this is. Let's see. Info sec pad on. I uh, SoundCloud. Obviously that. That doesn't exist, which I didn't think it did. But you know, you guys get the gist, and you guys can have this. Let's. It doesn't matter because we're going to be pretty much wrapping up now. Yeah, four four error. So you guys get the gist of that. So with that being said, you can actually. Well, let me continue without saving. Go ahead and open up this again. So let's clear this. So yeah, so that concludes the video on user recon. It's a super simple tool. What you can do is just install it, run it against your own social media platforms, your usernames, and obviously don't run this against any kind of users that you're unfamiliar with, or you don't have permission to do so because that is no bueno and that's pretty much illegal. So let's go back and we can go and see, uh, if, you know, if you come up here, you know, what is it about? It finds over, you know, finds usernames across 75 different social networks. So you can, you know, run this against yourself. This, you know, kudos goes out to the, the Linux choice. He's the developer of this. And I don't believe his, his uh, page exists anymore, which is a real bummer because I remember he had some cool tools, but uh, he took down his, um, took down his, his GitHub, I believe. Yeah. So, but with that being said, that concludes the video. Thank you so much for checking this out. Please remember to, like I say, please like, subscribe, share, hit the little bell to get notifications on dip, uh, new videos and all that good stuff. And hopefully it's been informative for you guys. Thank you so much.